I wasn't really planning on making anything today, but I'm actually just forcing myself to do so. But before, I've been up since like 2.30 in the morning. I just, I don't know why. I'm just up doing my thing, you know what I mean? Anyways, before I make something, I figured I'd get some Chinese food because it just looked so good. Yeah, right there. Yep. There it is. Boom. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if you're supposed to eat these or not, but I just ate one and I feel something like creeping up on me. Like it's about to set my mouth on fire, so. If I don't return, it's probably because I had a heart attack from eating that. I just figured I'd, I just figured I'd throw that in there. Well, it wasn't too bad. It was hot. It was real hot, but I, um, it lasted like 15 minutes. We're good. We are good now. Okay, I don't know what this means. I think and that is all I am. Are you supposed to eat like a fortune cookie if you, if you get like a bad fortune? Or if you don't know what it means? All right, so we're gonna do a seascape, a nice, easy seascape today. Um, probably maybe a little bit of sunset colors in it, hopefully. That won't be too bad, but if this is, uh, you know, if this is something that you're interested in doing, I suggest either maybe watch it first or, or you can just follow along. It's not gonna be a big deal. Um, so what I did, I took uh, some of uh, Gamblin's clear gel, solvent-free gel, and I covered the top portion of the canvas here, the top portion. Put a little piece of tape over here just to get that nice straight line. And I put a super thin, this is like a real thin coat. I scrubbed this actually on here before I started filming because it took about four minutes to do that. And I was really grinding it in. So make sure that you really bend the bristles when you're grinding this stuff in because a small little drop of the gel will do this whole thing. If your arm is burning out of control when you're done, that means you've done it the correct way. Okay, all right, I'll have all the colors listed below in the description along with links for everything. And I'm just gonna kinda call it out as I'm doing it. Now there's no white mixed in here, this is just the clear, that's all it is. So, I am thinking maybe a little sunset look. So I'm gonna grab I'm going to take a little cad yellow first and put a little bit right about there. That looks good. Wipe it off on the paper towel here. Let's go to, go right over to some yellow ochre. A little bit right there. And just I'm going to drop this sort of just right around, I guess. Something like that. All right, I'm gonna wipe that off. I'm actually gonna go back into a little bit of the uh, the cad yellow. It's been a little dirty on the brush, but that's okay. I'm just gonna drop some of this color down into here.
Okay. All right, back to the CAD. Back, I'm sorry, back to the yellow ochre. I'm just going to blend some of that into here. I just wanted to put that other yellow down first, just so it'd be a little bit of a different color when I come back with the, uh, you know, the ochre, the yellow ochre. And I do these little circles because they actually, they really do help when it comes to blending. All right, let me hop over here and grab. I'm going to grab a little bit of CAD red here. And what do I want to do with this? I'm just going to start popping it in. We'll figure out what to do with it. Okay. So I'm just going to kind of work this color around for a minute. I'm leaving this spot a little open for now. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. We'll see though. Blend some of this red into the yellow here so it's not like a straight line or anything like that. All right, all right. All right, now, what am I going to do? Okay, so I have some red. I'm going to go, I'm going to take the tiniest bit of our Prussian blue. I want to get like a purple color. So I'm actually just going to take a red and a blue and just give it a quick wipe off real quick and I'm just going to drop some of this color in right here. All right, so we had red in it. If you touch a little bit of, of blue on it, it'll, it'll give you a little bit of a purple color. You don't want to put a lot of blue, you know, you don't want to go right to blue right there because it'll definitely turn, you know, green on you unless you want some green in the sky. All right. That's nice. A little bit more blue. Okay. Now this looks crazy right now, and that's okay. That's all right. Now I'm going to take I'm going to take a little bit of uh, white and some red to get me a nice little little pink color. Ooh, that's not pink some more white on there. I'm just throwing the color up here and then I'll work with it. Once it once it's up here, we can work with it. I love when I love when it looks horrible on the on the actual canvas because that's how you know everything is actually going to go good. Just get a little bit of this white color just to soften that little red spot up right there. Okay, now I'm going to take some white and just the tiniest bit of blue. I do want a little bit of a uh, little bit of nice light blue color up in here. Just like this. Not like a vibrant blue. I think a light, light blue will probably be, do just good. All right, so there, we got some colors there, right? Now, I gotta keep fixing this microphone. It keeps falling off. Okay, I'm gonna grab another one inch brush right here and I'm gonna start just right here. I'm just gonna kind of work these colors a little bit together, starting in the light area, right? Start in the light and then kind of working up to the dark area. Circles are good. And I just wanna just kind of blend them together, that's all. Just so you can't really tell where one starts and the other one stops. So you have a variety of different things going on. All right, and then the last thing I'll do is come up here and the red will go into the blue, blend it in a little bit. 
you don't want to go from the yellow right up to the blue. You want to make sure you're blending red and then go into the blue. All right, so we got a pretty crazy looking sky right there, huh? Okay, all right, right away, fan brush. Let me move these other brushes out of the way. <clears throat> now I'm gonna just take some, for this I'm gonna grab blue and red. Blue and red, and that's that should give me like a, you know, just a dark color. Almost like a purple color. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to use a number three fan brush for this. And I'm just going to right away, I'm going to just start, I'm going to come right here, and I'm going to start putting in some dark clouds with these little baby circles. I think my fan brush is just about dead. Yeah, I'm going to have to switch. Okay, let me set that down. And I think I have another little baby one here somewhere. Oh, yeah. I got me one. Okay. All right, so let's go right here. I'm just throwing just a bunch of dark in. Big clouds. Big old clouds. All right. So I guess these this would be like the shadows of the clouds. I'm just getting some more paint down here, some of our nice little purple color. You see, I'm just doing little circles. I don't really, I'm not real, you know, worried about, you know, where I'm going. I mean, I have an idea where I'm going. I'm just, you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing these little baby circles. All right. Okay. All right. Let's set that down. Grab. I'm going to grab this this one inch brush and just the one we blended the sky with. I'm just going to wipe it off real quick and I'm going to come. I'm just going to melt these dark little areas a little bit. Just melt them up. Just do little circles on the bottom edge. This just kind of fixes them into position. See. Same thing over here. <clears throat> I'm pushing rather hard actually, when it, just in case you guys can't tell what I'm doing. I'm really like bending the bristles on this because if, if, I, if I didn't do it that way, it actually it wouldn't be blending nicely at all. All right, let me set that one inch down and what are we doing here? What are we doing? Um, I'm gonna just wipe off this number three fan brush that I have and hmm I'm gonna take let me try this I'm gonna take some just some white paint and some yellow ochre mixed in with that white yellow ochre and white and start dropping in some little circles just going to kind of go, just going to ride the top of these clouds, really. Something like that. And I keep reloading because you're going to lose paint pretty quickly here. So I'm just going to hit the tops of these clouds. Uh, start up here. Yeah, something like that. And I'm just thinking about, you know, little puffy cloud shapes. 
get some more white. Just going to lighten that color up just a little bit. Something like that. And I'm just doing little circles. That's it. That's all I'm doing. <clears throat> all right, let's come over to here. It's a little bit more yellow ochre in that. Hitting right on the top. See? And I'm leaving a lot of that dark in there because it'll look like a cloud shape. It'll, I'm sorry, not a cloud shape, but it'll look like it'll have depth because you'll have the dark in there. It's getting a little more yellow ochre for here. And I'm just kind of messing around with these colors right now. Um, I didn't really plan anything with these colors, so I'm just kind of doing you know doing it as i go and we'll see what happens put some little side by side clouds down here a little just go back and forth like that and maybe maybe just something like on the top there just to break that little line up right there i don't know something like that Okay, wiping off the fan brush. Let's wipe that off. And I guess we could just go right back to the right back to the uh, one inch. I just I always wipe it off on a paper towel. All right, let's see here. Let me see how this works. I just want to soften up. I just kind of want to melt this together a little bit and just see how it looks. I'm not, I'm not touching the top. I'm just kind of melting the, the highlights into the dark of the shadow. So I'm staying towards the bottom, really. If you blend the top, you're really just going to lose everything that you did. It'll just look like a big pile of mush. And you probably do not want that. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Seems like it's working out. I keep wiping it off too. That's probably important. And I'm not, um, I'm not, I'll just mention this. I'm not bending the bristles, not even as half as much as I was when we were doing the uh, shadows part of the cloud. I'm just, I'm doing it very lightly on this one here. <clears throat> All right, let me just set that down real quick. I'm going to pick the fan brush back up real quick because I just stepped back and I just want to try one thing. I'm going to take some white, right, some white paint, and I'm going to take some yellow. I, I just, you know, I want to see how this looks. White paint with a good amount of yellow in it. I just want to try to highlight the highlight. <clears throat> see how it looks. Not everywhere, just in a few spots. And that could give it something extra, you know what I mean? It could make it look brighter. It could maybe make it look like it makes sense. You have to experiment when you're doing this stuff. You really do. You have to, you have to try new things and, you know, you'll figure out what works and what doesn't work real fast. As long as you're not afraid, you know, to experiment around. <clears throat> wipe that off real quick okay so that looks like a little bit of extra something to it right grab the old uh, one inch here and I'm even going to do this softer I'm barely I'm just hitting it real quick move to the next one you just want to soften it a little bit you don't want to kill this the second highlight you want it to make sense you want to be able to see that there's a, a you know, your first highlight and your second highlight. And you do that by not blending it too much. All right, got that. Okay, let me set that down. And if you want to, 
if you really want to, you can take a bigger brush and you can actually, you can give these a quick little lift if you want to. This will just take out any of the, the brush strokes. I didn't want to do it with the one inch because uh, I feel like that was too, too rough. Like the bristles on that are a little bit too rough. This is nice and soft, or you could use like a blender for this. <clears throat> you don't have to do this, but you can. Barely touching it. All right. All right, let's go, let's grab. I'm just going right back to the one inch. And I'm going to put a, uh, yeah, I'm going to put some stuff down here. So, probably going to start off with a uh, dark purple color, I think. There's no medium down here. We'll see how that looks. Just red, blue. Red and blue. I'm going to leave a little spot in the center for a minute. Got to peel that tape off. All right, before we go too far, let me get the uh, fan brush. And I want to put in, <clears throat> I'm going to just take some of this purple, I guess. Just sketch it in with that. I want to just put a cool little wave crashing or whatever. So, yeah, I better take this off. Better take that off. We'll scrub the color in here in a second. <clears throat> so I want to put a, uh, yeah, a little wave crashing. So, yeah, let me get some white paint on here, actually. Lighten that up. So I want it to come along like this. Yeah, something like this. And then I actually want it to break the horizon like that. And just kind of go that way. I'll come down. Yeah, something like that. All right, something like that. And might as well sketch the rest of this out so we know what to fill in. Okay. Now we can put the darker areas. I like doing a sketch sometimes. It does help. It really does help. It makes things a little bit quicker and easier. All right, so now we can go back to our purple color, our red and our blue, and just start throwing some color in. Now I'm being a little bit sloppy, so I might mess the horizon up, but when you're doing this, you know, you could really, really take your time and make sure that you have a nice straight line of, you know, where the ocean starts and the sky starts. All right. I'm going to mix up some more purple, some red and blue. All right dark color back here all right so I'm just gonna fill this in here <clears throat> and the fan brush is actually super easy to do to fill this in like that because it's got a nice straight tip on it all right so we got that there now Let's move down into here, into this area here. Get some blue, touch a little bit of red. I'm actually gonna get just a little bit of yellow in there. That's gonna give it a little bit of a, hmm, maybe a green, sort of a green look. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. Like I said, I'm just messing around with these colors, but I just wanna experiment. You could use the fan brush and scrub this in. It's no big deal. Or you could use a one inch. Or 
or a two inch or whatever, you know, whatever works for you. But water is green, right? All right, there's that there. Now, let me get some more dark color. More on the purple side for over here. We need, yeah, we just need some dark in here. Something like this. And actually, we could just put it all the way in here too. We might as well, right? Leave a little spot there. We'll drop a little nice light color in there, I guess. Let's see. How does that look? Looks like garbage. So that means... Like I said earlier, we're doing good because it looks like garbage. All right, all right. I'm going to just pick up a, I don't know, filbert real quick. Get some white. Uh, get some yellow. <clears throat> white, yellow. Touch of poker maybe. I don't know. And then for here, just definitely drop in this real quickly. You could, probably should have did this after the foam, but that's all right. All right, I'm actually going to, I'm going to, while I have this filbert out, I'm going to mix up, let's see here, I'm going to take some white paint and I'm going to get some blue and a touch of red. I'm just getting maybe a tiny light purple color. And I'm just thinking about a, a foam, shadow foam. All right, so let's see. Is that light enough? Maybe not. A little bit more white. A little bit more blue. All right, so I want to think about, yeah, stuff like this. You know, just nice little circles. That's the best way to do this is do little circles. See? Get some more white in there. And some more blue. Just little circles. It comes around, it comes up like this, breaks the horizon. See? And then it goes right down. And you don't have to do these little circle things all the way down, but you can if you want. All right. <clears throat> all right. So this is just shadow foam right here, okay? Bring it all the way down if you want. It doesn't matter. All right, I'm just going to wipe this filbert off now, <clears throat> and I'm just going to... What am I going to do? What am I doing here? Let me set that down. Let me go back. Let me go to the fan brush real quick. I'm just going to wipe this fan brush off. It's got dirty color on it. That's fine. And I'm just going to go into some white, maybe with a little bit of that yellow ochre on it. See how that looks. I don't know. White, a little bit of yellow ochre. Just come in here and just, just, just think about the little, you know, the wave, whatever that part's called, you know, that crashes down. Don't cover up all the dark, though, because if you cover up all the dark in here, it's, it doesn't, it tends to not look right. Just keep that in mind when you're doing this. Do it in little sections, little touches and touch and go. Seems to uh, work the best, in my opinion. All right. And it gives you the idea that there's something splashing right there or whatever. Now, I suppose since we have the fan brush here, we could probably just... Let me grab some more white paint here. Some white paint and maybe a touch of yellow. Since the sky is, you know, that color. <clears throat> maybe there'll be a touch of yellow in there. So... Let's just see how this works. I'm just going to start highlighting some of this. All right, better get some more paint on that. I'm just sticking to the top, the top portion here. See? All right. Leave a lot of the dark. Okay. 
All right, so I got that. Got that. Let me set this down now. And what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I want to grab... I don't want to use the one inch. I already used this two. You know what? I could probably just use this two inch real quick. I just want to try to see how this how this looks if I just melt some of this together real quick. I'm using just the corner of this just to bring some of this foam stuff together to make it look a little bit more soft. You know what I mean? Something like that. All right. That seems to be doing good. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to take the corner of this two inch since we're using it and I'm going to work in our other stuff here, the eye of the wave. I'm just going to hold it like this and just do these little circles until it comes together. And you probably should wipe it off or you know even if you want clean your brush because if you go back in there from the dark to the light you're not going to be happy because it's not going to look right all right so i just wiped my brush off and i just want to go back in here and just grind this a little bit working to the right all right okay i think I'm happy with that. Okay, so let me grab, let me grab this fan brush, and I'm going to take uh, some blue and just some white color. And before I get too far, I just want to go back here and just give like an indication that something's going on, right? It don't have to be, you know, anything crazy. Just a couple of little, you know, white blue areas. Okay, it'll look like I don't know, maybe little waves and stuff. And then maybe something here too, just to, I'm actually just like kind of breaking that horizon up a little bit. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe it helps. Maybe it doesn't. I'm not sure. All right. Boy, we're just moving right along here. All right. Back to the, <clears throat> back to the one inch that had the purple on it. Um, before I get ahead of myself. I'm going to take uh, some brown, straight up burnt umber, and there's no medium down here, but I do want to throw some of this in here first. I'm start, I always start on the edge like this, and then I'll work my way up. All right. All right, now we'll take just a little tiniest touch of black. And, and you can't see this right now, but this will make it look more earthly, like an earthy tone. And then we can go into the yellow ochre and work our way up. So we started with brown, put a touch of black in it, and then we're moving to the yellow ochre as we go up. And, and that could be the wrong way, I'm not sure. But it, that just seems like the way that it should work. And as I get close to the water, I'm not afraid if I'm <clears throat> if I'm actually going to, you know, touch it, touch the bottom of the wave or whatever. I am being a little cautious, I suppose. I'm actually going to get a touch of black because this should be in shadow here. Something like this. And I'm just going to work this back and forth. All right, let's see here. All right, that's cool. That's cool. All right, all right. Back to the fan brush. The little I've been using this little baby fan brush the whole time. So we had uh, where is it here? It's like a you know our green green and blue that we had mixed. There was a little bit of red in there too. I'm going to just bring this together. So we have like a green and blue mix, right? And I'm just actually, let me put some in here. I just want to fill this area in. And then we're going to kind of like, kind of marry the, the sand 
and the water together with the fan brush. See, so I'm just doing back and forth. So you can't really tell where the sand starts <clears throat> or where the water begins. Don't be afraid to try stuff, really. It's the only way you're ever going to learn is if you experiment. Okay, let's see. Okay, all right, that's cool. Let me just get some of this light color real quickly here. And I just want to define this just a little bit. figure out where this is going. So it's going to come around like this. And it's going to work. Something like that, I suppose. And I just had a little bit of I put a little bit of white on the on the fan brush to try to give me an idea. <clears throat> And you can change this too. You can change the way your wave, it can go more up if you want, and you can have it stop here. You can do a lot of stuff. That's why I like using like a fan brush or a filbert and just do like a quick little, you know, a quick little sketch. It'll, it'll really help you at the end of the day. You can put these little lines in it, see? And this just gives you a direction of where you're going. I haven't put any super light color in yet <laughs> but it'll give you an idea. All right, all right. Um, let me grab. I'm just got. I got some yellow here, yellow and white, on the fan brush, and I'm just I'm gonna see how this looks. I don't know if I'll keep this or not, but I'm just gonna drop some of this color in. Eh, maybe I'll leave it. We'll see. All right, okay, time for some pure white here. Pure white and a tiny bit of yellow, actually. Pure white and a, and a little bit of yellow. I want to come right here and I want to start dragging. Oh, better keep reloading. I want to start dragging like uh, where the edge of the water would be. Like this. And I'm going to pick up some of that dirty stuff, so I'm just going to keep reloading. And it's not going to be super bright over here. I mean, I guess you could put a little bit, but it's not going to be real bright. It's going to be more dark over here. So this is just some white and some yellow just to sort of define the bottom of this little wave here. All right. <clears throat> I guess we could take some of that color right up here and pull some of it down to set it and just kind of like define the wave. And this is where you need to experiment with different like brush strokes and find out what, you know, what you like to do. You know, do you want green in the water? Do you want, you know, do you want blue water? I mean, you know, example, let's get some white paint and a little bit of blue. So if you wanted like, if you thought light blue should be in here, pick up some light blue like this here and put some light blue in it, see? If you think it belongs <clears throat> in here. And that goes for any color you think. All right, let's see. I'm gonna pick up some just some white and some yellow, and I just want to try to do something here real quick. I just want to straighten that out just a little bit more. And I'm going to probably have to put some dark. I'm going to step back real quick and take a look. Yeah, I need to put some dark in there. Let's go back to the, uh, the blue and the red, which is the purple color. 
it's missing some dark right there. And as far as like the foam goes, I mean, it probably shouldn't be like a bright white color. You know, think about the color of the sky. I mean, maybe a little yellow in it or something. You really don't need any foam down here if you think about it. You want people to focus, you know, in this area. But I'm just going to put a couple little pieces of something in here. Now something that I like doing a lot, I'm going to set this down and pick up a knife real quick. I always like using a knife. So I just have some yellow ochre white and there looks like maybe there's a little green inside here. You can do so much with a palette knife. Go with the angles, right? And just think about the wave coming down, the water. Angles are, are pretty important on this. I'm just shaking it like side to side and I'm just coming right down. But you see you could put these little cool textures and stuff in there. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, you can even make like little foam with this if you wanted to. You could use the point of the knife to to make like little like water lines and stuff like that. There's all kinds of stuff that you can you can do. All right, let's see here. Since I got the knife going, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna actually grab a little bit of white, and I'm gonna put a little bit of like a highlight right here. I'm actually yeah, right there, because I like how that looks. You see. It just kind of defines, you know, what's happening right here. And you can do the same thing over here if you want. You know, if you think it should be nice and bright here, whatever. You know, put on some, some knife foam. Knife foam. <laughs> but you could just go crazy with this. I mean, you could probably really overdo this. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I overdid it. I have to reshape this back here now. <laughs> I'm just going to put a dark line right there. Just like that. <laughs> All right, um, hmm. let me set that knife down real quick. I'm going to just grab this, uh, grab this one inch brush, right? It has brown on it, but that's fine. I'm going to go right into uh, white, just some white paint on here. Uh, better get a touch of yellow, huh? White paint, a little bit of yellow, right in the center, pull down. Right here. Just drop it like this. Start in the center and work your way. You want it to start in the center so it could be brighter in the center. All right, and just hit it back and forth. Make it look nice and pretty. Look like some stuff is shining. <coughs> okay. Just like that, you can you can smooth it as much as as much as you want. I think that's good. All right, back to all right, back to the knife here. Let me get some more of this color. All right, so I just got some nice white color, and I want to come right here. I'm, I do want to put a, uh, a nice little, you know, like a water line foam line, whatever you call it, right off 
like that. See that? And it kind of just, that really helps you like figure out where the water is like churning up or whatever. couple of these I guess and I'm rubbing real hard super hard and you want it to be brightest in that center area like right there okay set the knife down probably just grab the fan brush you know just pull some of this back carefully this just kind of cleans it up, I suppose. You could do the same thing here if you want on the first one. You know, something like that. Whatever you're comfortable with. All right. Now, let me set that down and grab. I'm going to get me probably a light bluey green color. See how this works. I want to put, I want to start putting some of these cool little things in, these little lines and stuff. And these really, they kind of just really make the water look like it's doing different stuff. When you're looking back at it, you know, 10 or 15 feet or whatever, it'll help. <clears throat> Put some out here. You know, just wherever, just sling them around. Sling them around. Yeah, something like that. I wasn't going to make any videos today. I was super, uh, I was super tired. I didn't sleep too well last night, so I wasn't going to make any anything. But I, I pushed myself, and that's what I tell you guys to do all the time. You have to push yourself, whether you want to do something or not. The the outcome is always the mental outcome is always a good one. So I hope it inspires you to make something on a day that you don't want to. But uh, but that's about it. I will see you guys soon. I have a class on February 29th. It is I think there's like three spots left. It's on my website. If anybody wants to jump on there, it'll probably be sold out by then. And I'm so happy for that. It is a good, it's going to be a really good painting that we do. We're doing the Northern Lights. So check it out. I have it on my website, paintingsbyjustin.com. Links are in the description. Take care, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.